every day, scientists are discovering new creatures. Our world is big. There's a lot we don't know about it. But some of their more recent discoveries are truly peculiar. These are the strangest creatures recently discovered. Number 20. Jenglad. Legend has it that in Indonesia, there was an ascetic who wanted to learn the Ilmu Batara Karang, also known as the teachings that would grant eternal life to anyone who would master them. He was a hermit that worshipped demons in order to attain mystical powers and countless abilities. The Ilmu Batara Karang originated in Tasik Malaya city long before the time of Islam. It's a very obscure and occult practice that provides immunity and strength to its owner. This person is believed to be able to melt or melt their opponent with just one touch. And if this person meditates daily in a specific cave at a secret location, they will become a Jenglot. Jenglots are about the height of an adult's forearm. They look like a petrified creature with long black hair, huge fangs, and talons. Some people consider them to be a type of vampire as they feed solely on animal or human blood. Some studies have been done on these creatures. The results of one such study were published in the Malaysian Journal of Medical Sciences in 2009. Hair samples from the corpse of an alleged jenglot were studied and the researchers concluded that the hairs were of human origin. The last sighting of a living jenglot was in 2013 in the volcanic mountains of Java. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. Just take a look at this colossal giant Caribbean lobster. We've never seen a lobster anywhere near this scale. This thing looks like a fictional kaiju, but it's actually very, very real. This utter beast was found on the coast of the town of Manabu, Puerto Rico by a fisherman working for a local restaurant. We imagine a lot of happy customers got to dine out on this big boy. As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Montauk Monster this story began on July 23, 2008, with a mysterious article about the carcass of an unknown creature that was found in the wild. Jenna Hewitt, 26, of Montauk, and three of her friends claimed they found a creature at the Ditch Plains Beach. The animal was like nothing they had ever seen before, and considering not far from that location there's the Plum Island Animal Disease Center, they thought it was best to alert authorities. Maybe this was the result of a dangerous virus, or maybe they do a little more than just study diseases at Palm Island. But by the time the article came out, the strange carcass was no longer at the beach. There were rumors that the creature had decomposed to a skeleton by the time of press coverage. Hewitt claimed that a guy had taken it into the woods in his backyard, but she has never revealed who or where. The only thing that remains from the Montauk monster is one image. In that photo, you can see how strange looking it is. Larry Penny, the East Hampton Natural Resources Director, has concluded that it was a raccoon with its upper jaw missing. But it doesn't really look like a raccoon, does it? Number 18. Eerie Monster in Berwick, Louisiana. Going out into the woods at night is scary enough as it is, but after you see this video, I bet you'll never step into a wooded area when it's dark again in your entire life. This picture was taken by an anonymous hunter in a destroyed camp in Berwick, Louisiana. On December 10th, 2010, it was reported on NBC 33, and after that, news outlets from all over the world picked up the story too. The image was captured by the hunter's deer cam, and he realized that there was a terrifying creature in there long after he went back to his house. It shows a thin, gangly, and fast-moving creature that seems to be nocturnal. Some people think that the hunter ran into a zombie, and some others believe that it is in fact a photoshopped hoax. PlayStation claimed that it was a grim from the Resistance 3 game. Insomniac Games also posted their own update on Twitter that read, oops, looks like one got out. If you see a grim on the loose, please return to Insomniac Games. These statements further convinced people that it was a fake. But the fact is, if Insomniac Games had actually been behind this, they wouldn't have made the image like that. The grim has a few eyes more than this eerie creature. Number 17. 
tiny humanoid found in Chile. This creepy looking tiny little mummy was found in 2003 in the Atacama Desert in northern Chile. It is six inches long, has hardened teeth, big eye sockets, an elongated and pointy skull, and finally, instead of 12 ribs like humans have, it only has 10. When it was found, a lot of people speculated it might be the remains of an alien species that came to visit planet Earth a long time ago. But now, scientists have finally found how this tiny mummy came to be. A new study published in Genome Research presented DNA analysis of bone marrow cells from the humanoid skeleton, and the results will blow your mind. They are, in fact, human. The team of scientists believes that the remains belong to a child who probably had a rare genetic mutation resulting in a bone disorder, which would explain the bizarre shape and size of the child, who has been called Atta. Atta was indeed a human with an estimated bone age of 6 to 8 years old at the time of death. The recent study also suggests that Atta was actually a girl of Chilean descent. She likely suffered from mutations in her genes associated with dwarfism and scoliosis. And the final discovery that took everyone by surprise is that Ada is not ancient. Her death dates back around 40 years. Number 16. Chupacabra Chupacabra literally means goat sucker in Spanish. It's a legendary creature in the folklore from certain parts of the Americas. Sightings have been reported in Puerto Rico since the 1970s, and this creature has since been reported as far north as Maine, as far south as Chile, and even outside the Americas in countries like Russia and the Philippines. And this time, it was seen in Houston, Texas. This photo was taken on Richmond near Highway 6, specifically behind the Shell facility, according to the man that took it. Now, now, some people speculate it must just be a stray dog suffering from mange, or maybe even a coyote. But the resemblance with the legendary, albeit mythical, chupacabra is just too striking to ignore. This eerie monster has terrorized rural communities throughout the Americas for centuries. It's been described as resembling a small bear or a very large dog with a row of spines extending from the neck to the base of its tail. And you always know that there's one around when livestock starts to show up completely drained of blood, as this creature only feeds on blood. They are very dangerous and not to be messed with, so if you ever see one, run as fast as you can. Number 15. Russian Alien This tiny but creepy alien creature washed up on the banks of a river in northwestern Russia. At first glance, it looks like it could perfectly be something straight out of the abdominal cavity of a certain crew member aboard the USCSS Nostromo. Where's Sigourney Weaver when you need her? But of course, something can't get out of a movie that we know of. So what could this possibly be? The one and a half inch long oddity was found by a woman named Tamara as she waded in the shallows of the Kavashi River. Tamara was with a friend that day, and her friend thought the creature might be a mutant chicken embryo due to its elongated skull, shrunken frame, and taloned limb. But Tamara was convinced that the bizarre creature, who she christened Kesha, had much more interesting and less mundane origins. A biologist at the Krasnoyarsk Institute of Biophysics said that Kesha's body seems to be neither fowl nor fish. It has no neck, a very mysterious skull, and wings. Although lots of people blame the Leningrad nuclear power plant for the existence of creatures like Kesha, the key word being mutant here, as the plant has a history of disastrous industrial accidents and cover-ups. You can't blame the locals for being highly suspicious of expert authority. Number 14. Canadian Creature Two nurses found a bizarre creature on a lake shore near a town in Kachenu Maikusib, northern Ontario, Canada. They were walking their dog Sam when they came across something dark and furry that Sam seemed to be very curious about at first. The mysterious creature was lying face down in the water, and suddenly it moved, and the two women realized this was an animal like they had never seen before. It was kind of small at about a foot long, although it's not clear if that includes the tail or not. The body was quite normal, all except the ghostly, hairless, white 
white face and the massive fangs. The nurses managed to grab some pictures of the bizarre creature, but because it smelled incredibly bad, they didn't try to approach it at all. Some people immediately thought it might be another Montauk monster. Similar creatures are mentioned in many First Nations myths and legends. They believe that it's a beast known as Omajanako, which translates to the Ugly One. And these creatures are very bad news. They're seen as a bad omen. Seeing one means that a terrible tragedy is afoot. Number 13. British Sea Monster A very unusual water creature washed ashore in Manchester. Shocked walkers came across this terrifying-looking carcass on the banks of Hollingworth Lake in Rochdale. It immediately caught the attention of the media as a creature like this one has never been seen before. The eerie discovery has also sparked a viral frenzy as online commentators are being more and more frightened by what could be lurking beneath Britain's lakes. Some scientists speculate it might be an ancient sea monster, but it goes to show how little we actually know about lake and marine life. Some local people say it might be an unusually large pikefish, but judging by its immense teeth, that seems unlikely. The beast has been dubbed the Rochness Monster by the media outlets, and it's about five feet long. People living around the lake are terrified. None of them dare to go into the water anymore out of fear that some other beasts like this one could be lurking in the dark. Maybe even bigger than this one. And can you blame them? This thing looks lethal. Number 12. Beast of Tenby. A very unusual and creepy looking beast washed up on the shores of Pembrokeshire in Wales on February 22, 2013 by dog walker Peter Bailey. The gruesome purple carcass has left local residents completely puzzled and mystified. The creature had remnants of brown hair on its sturdy and long skull, and its bloodless lips pulled back in a terrifying snarl that looked like something from the beyond. It had huge fangs and claws like a bear. Bailey told his local paper that at first glance, he immediately thought it was a dead horse, but it had the body of a pig, and last time I checked, horses don't have claws. Although it has been a while since I checked. He also said that the nightmarish looking creature surprisingly did not smell at all, which is something quite impossible for a dead animal's carcass. Bailey's dog could not stop barking. He only calmed down once they got far enough from the creature that he felt safe again. There was a huge internet buzz of people trying to figure out what on earth was this creature and if it was even real. All we know for sure is that it was about four feet long and it appeared to be a mammal. Number 11. Creature found in Texas. After Hurricane Harvey ravaged Texas, a woman found a faceless and fanged creature that washed up on a beach. The woman, named Preeti Desai, happened to be a social media manager at the National Audubon Society. She was actually in the Lone Star State to assess the damage after Hurricane Harvey had spun through the region. So she took to the internet to find someone that could explain to her what this animal was. She wrote, and I quote, Okay, biology Twitter, what the heck is this? There was much speculation and a crazy frenzy of comments rained down on her post. One guy said that it might be a deformed dolphin, and of course the prehistoric sea creature theory, or even the always handy alien one, showed up to the party, as always. A scientist at San Diego's own Scripps Institution of Oceanography came up with the answer that it could be some kind of eel. But finally, the buzz came to a halt when they actually figured out what the strange fish actually was. As it turns out, it is a fang-toothed snake eel, also known as a tusky eel, or Aplatophus chaliotis, which unsurprisingly translates as terrible snake. Number 10. Serpent-like creature. A marine science instructor named Jasmine Santana was snorkeling off the southern coast of California when she spotted something quite out of the ordinary. It was an 18-foot-long silvery carcass of what seemed to look like some kind of serpent-like monster. Santana thought to herself instantly that if she didn't drag the creature out of there, nobody would believe her. More than 15 people were required to drag the gigantic sea monster out of the water. As it turns out, the sea monster isn't really something mythical, it's not even a mutant. It is, in fact, an oarfish. These animals usually dive more than 3,000 feet deep, so sightings are extremely rare and they are largely unstudied. This one is particularly huge, though, and apparently it died of natural causes. You guys want to be on the picture? It could all be length to length and still fit. <laughs>
The Catalina Island Marine Institute decided to expose the carcass for three days so that the students and visitors could rejoice in its grandiosity, and they will then bury it in the sand so it can decompose. After that, the plans to go back and reconstitute the skeleton for display. So if you're in the California area and you want to see the biggest fish you will ever encounter, you can always go pay a visit at CIMI. Number 9. Gollum found dead in Panama. According to the reports in Panama, a group of teenagers spotted a terrifying creature crawling out of a cave while they were playing in the town of Cerro Azul, just north of Panama City. The kids were scared for their own safety as the creepy monster was rapidly moving towards them. So they acted without thinking twice and attacked it with sticks and stones before throwing its lifeless body into a pool of water. The creature appears to be hairless and toothless too. It has a very sturdy torso, almost chubby, with a comically inflated belly. But its limbs seem to be very thin and weak. Its skin has a very unique and bizarre pinkish color and tiny little round ears. The mayor of Panama City stated that all it probably wanted was to play with the children, but it ended up dead instead. A sad statement on our fear of the unknown. Some people have speculated that it might be a creature from another planet. Maybe from the same place the Montauk monster came from. But some others, perhaps more sensible, say that it was probably just an animal minding its own business. Number 8. California Creature what looks to be a wild boar from hell was discovered on a beach in Santa Barbara after a pretty big storm hit the area. The terrifying creature was found near a drain washout and it has the local residents completely baffled as to what species of animal this could be. It's brownish in color, has long and sharp claws, and most importantly, terrifying and huge fangs. Locals told reporters that it looks like a combination of a seal and a dog with fangs, or kind of reminiscent of a dinosaur. To me, it looks like a remnant of like a dinosaur. As in something really ancient that shouldn't exist in the present time. Another passerby also said that it could be an old species of dog that is not common nowadays. An animal expert actually called the news TV station and said it was probably a bear that lost its fur due to the corrosion of the water. But reporters have claimed that it's not big enough to be a black bear. It looks like it belongs to the mammal animal group, and it definitely looks like a predator with those huge teeth and claws. So it eats meat, and it looks like a hybrid between many different animals. The mystery continues, and by now, the carcass has decomposed, and we'll never truly know what the creepy California creature was. Number 7. Zoyu Maru Creature on April 25, 1977, a Japanese trawler named Zoyo Maru was sailing 30 miles east of Christchurch in New Zealand. It was a pretty ordinary day until an enormous rotting carcass was caught in the trawl. The crew was convinced that they had in their hands an unidentified sea monster, but despite the potential biological huge significance of the discovery, the captain, Akira Tanaka, decided to dump the carcass back into the ocean where it came from. He was worried that the rotting creature would spoil the fish they had caught. However, before being dumped into the deep waters again, the crew managed to take some photos and do some sketches of the mysterious creature. They also took some samples of the skeleton, skin, and fins to take back to land. The discovery resulted in an absolute commotion and a plesiosaur craze in Japan for years, so much so that the shipping company ordered all its boats to try to relocate the mysterious carcass, but with no success. People were convinced that they had found a Mesozoic marine reptile, but thanks to the tissue samples, they could actually conduct some analysis. And as it turns out, it was nothing more than the carcass of a basking shark. Number 6. Tully Monster we're pretty good now at identifying prehistoric animals, but there's one that's always defied classification since it was first unearthed. It was named the Tully Monster. The Tully Monster is thought to have existed some 300 million years ago, and it featured a very narrow and long neck and a mouth literally filled with razor-sharp teeth. But the strangest thing about the Tully Monster was the eyes. They didn't sit on the head near the mouth. No, they actually sat much further back on its body at the end of a rigid bar perched on its back. 
Now that's unexpected. Scientists also speculate that the monster swam using cuttlefish-like fins at the tail section. After years of painstaking analysis of the fossil by the paleontology team at Yale University, they concluded that the creature had gills and a rudimentary backbone that supported its body. The closest living relative of this strange animal would be the lamprey. But then, another team of researchers a year later determined that it was, in fact, an invertebrate. Basically, and to sum it up, we still have no idea what kind of creature the Tully monster really was. I mean, it doesn't look like we're gonna move forward with the investigation anytime soon. Number 5. Hairy Dolphin an unidentified and mysterious creature washed up dead on the shores of Sakhalin Island in the far east of Russia, right next to Japan. Local residents described the strange animal as having a long beak and a furry tail, which is not a combination that anyone's ever seen before. It was also about twice the size of an adult person. Nikolai Kim, the deputy head of the forecasting department of the Sakhalin Research Institute of Fisheries and Oceanography, stated that he doubts the animal lived in their waters. He added that it was likely the the animal was brought to the Asian waters by warm currents, which is something that happens all the time. Tropical and subtropical species are confused by warm water currents and find themselves in the colder waters of Asia where they stay and die. Kim also believes that considering the shape of the skull, the animal's some kind of dolphin. The fur is something that he couldn't explain, though. People have been speculating for a long time about the furry dolphin. Some people believe the animal suffered a terrible mutation due to Chernobyl, and some have suggested that the remains might be of a specific of the Ganges River Dolphin, but no theory has ever been officially proven. Number 4. Unknown Creature Found in the Amazon this image comes from the deeps of the impenetrable Amazon rainforest. It was posted on the internet in March 2015 without any kind of caption or explanation as to what the strange creature is. Some people argue that the absolute lack of information and details about this image kind of brings its authenticity to question. Some others think the fact that nothing at all can be found about the exact location or the people that found the creature is a telltale sign of a government cover-up. There's also the question of the super obvious and suspicious editing on the the foliage all around the subject and the man holding it. The left arm of the monster also looks edited. If you take all those things into consideration, then the theory that this is just a picture of the carcass of a dead monkey, likely taken by a cell phone camera and then edited to seem more mysterious and dramatic, starts to make sense. Although some local tribes that still reside in the area have been talking about a similar creature for years. A monkey-like creature with unusually long and strong arms and with a face similar to that of a human. Number 3. New Zealand Sea Monster a 30-foot-long sea monster washed up on Pukahina Beach in the Bay of Plenty in New Zealand after a series of violent storms hit the area. Because of its jagged teeth and large flippers, beachgoers instantly thought that it could be the remains of a prehistoric marine creature. The animal seemed to have been dead for a long time, as the carcass was in a very advanced stage of the rotting process. It also had some thick rope entangled in its tail, which suggests that maybe that's how it died, as it couldn't properly swim anymore. The big, sharp teeth also point to the possibility of this animal being a carnivorous predator, and with the heavy rope stuck in its tail, it would have been impossible for it to hunt down prey. There was a lot of speculation about the species of this creature, until marine mammal expert Anton Van Helden told New Zealand's TV3 News that it was probably an orca whale. He said the fin structure was very similar to that of the orca whale, which is quite common in the area. During a storm, the sea becomes wild, and maybe the strong currents pushed ashore the carcass, which was decomposed posing at the bottom of the ocean. Number 2. Strange Prehistoric Creature Pulled From a Pond a very strange and massive creature was found in a pond in the Russian city of Chelyabinsk. A group of workers were working at a construction site near the pond when they saw the waters moving, so they decided to throw some of their lunch in the water, and to their amazement, the water moved even more. Something was alive in there, and it was hungry. Puzzled, the workers went on to investigate, and they brought up this strange creature. It was very much still alive, so much so that it even tried to bite one of them. So they had to kill it with some 
equipment that was lying around in order to protect themselves. They estimated the size of the animal at 5 feet. At first glance, the monster kind of looks like a face hugger from the movie franchise Alien. It even has the same horrific spider-like legs growing out of its abdomen. It also looks quite similar to a triopsidy, also known as a shield shrimp. This animal is considered a living fossil as it hasn't changed at all since the Triassic period some 252 million years ago. But the shield shrimp today is not bigger than 4 inches, so this creature remains a complete mystery. Number 1. Alien Cow Baby this strange cow-like creature was born in Thailand around the year 2009. It appears to be a very bizarre bovine humanoid monster like the Minotaur from Greek mythology. There isn't much information on the internet about where exactly this animal was born, but the best information available suggests that it was found near a village in rural Thailand. The creature seems to synthesize perfectly both features of a white cow and a human child. Because of its soft attributes and its small size, it's safe to say the animal was very young in age at the moment of its death. The locals, recognizing the clear human traits of the monster, decided to grant it a proper Buddhist funeral in order to help this unfortunate creature reincarnate into a less miserable form. Some 50 villagers gathered and they performed the ritual. Even members of the military were present. Some people over the internet have speculated that it looks very similar to some alien sightings in other parts of the world. It's very easy to see why. A humanoid creature with hoofs is not something terrestrial as far as we know. As you can see, there are many creatures that exist on our planet that we are simply not aware of yet. From time to time, they appear on our radar, but then something happens that we can't trace it back to its source. What do you think? Could this be a cover-up? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.